Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a mid to high level money making guide. I'm gonna be showing you guys four methods that are pretty good for mid to high level players. You're gonna be able to make around five to 10 mil using each of these methods. They are some pretty good methods and some that you probably haven't seen before. If you guys do enjoy this video, definitely hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more RuneScape 3 content. And we're just going to jump right into it. I really hope you guys do enjoy the video. So starting off with our first money making method, we have making Water Fiend binding contracts. So there are quite a few requirements for this. However, they are sort of mid-level, 50 Slayer, 50 Summoning. You also need 68 Archaeology and the Dagon by Mystery. I will be linking a full Infernal Source uh, Mystery Guide in the description down below where I will cover how you can complete Dagon by. And then recommended is also 80 plus range, and that is to kill the Water Fiends. So first things first, with this method, you are going to want to set up your preset. So as you can see, you're going to want to have your Beast of Burden preset set to the same one that I have. Um, you're going to want to alternate the Blood of Orcus and the Hellfire Metal. Um, and then you're also going to want some Spirit Shards and some Pouches, as well as Blue Charms in your inventory, and then fill it with... Uh, the Hellfire Metal and the Blood of Orcus um, and just balance them out. So you're going to want your inventory to look like this as well as your Beast of Burden and then set that preset make sure the summoning icon is ticked off. That way when you do load the preset you will be loading the Beast of Burden uh, items as well. So next you're going to want to change your familiar option. So this is just the simple left click option. You're going to want to change it to take uh, Beast of Burden. That way, whenever you select the keybind for it, as you can see, mine is B. So whenever I select B, I'll just automatically take out the Blood of Orcus and the Hellfire Metal from my Beast of Burden. Now, the next step for this is pretty simple. You're going to want to make the binding contracts. You can do this at the Summoning Goblisk in Priftinus. Um, if you don't have Prif unlocked, then you can go to the Taverly location as well. Um, you're just going to make as many binding contracts as you possibly can. Um, if you are looking to do this for about an hour, you should be able to make around five to 600 binding contracts. Um, and then you should be able to kill the Water Fiends and turn them into the Water Fiend binding contracts all within one hour. Now, I do want to briefly mention that there are other binding contracts and the GE price, they are a lot higher than the Water Fiends. However, the Water Fiends are the only ones that really buy and sell. Um, now, it does cost around 28 k to make a binding contract. And you can see that the Water Fiend pouches are selling for around 47 48 k So you're making roughly 20 k profit per pouch. And you get them every time you kill a Water Fiend. And you can kill up to six or 700 Water Fiends per hour, depending on your gear setup. Now, once you have all of your binding contracts all made, you will want to head to the ancient caverns where the water fiends are located. You're going to want to use your best ranged gear. Water fiends are weak to ranged, and they do have pretty high defense against both other combat styles, so I would highly recommend using ranged. Um, and just bring your best gear and kill them as fast as you can. You are going to be making about 20k profit per kill. So you can see that the GP per hour is really good for this method. You can make up to 8 mil per hour, um, which is really, really great. It does depend on how fast you are killing the Water Fiends. Um, so depending on if you're a high-level player, um, you will gain a little bit more GP uh, than a mid-level player. Now moving on to the next method, we have Barrows. Barrows is a really good money-making method right now. And there isn't even any requirements. There is, however, a recommended combat level of around 120 if you want to be efficient. And then the hard Mauritania achievements. These are really important to have completed because they will double the runes that you will obtain from this, which will obviously increase your profit. Now, this money-making method is heavily dependent on the unique drop, which is the Amulet of the Forsaken. It is a pretty rare drop with a estimated drop rate of 1 in 512 per slot. Um, now, it is worth around 31.7 mil right now, so as you can see, that is very, very high. Um, and you should be able to get around 1 every 4 hours of Barrows. That's if you are killing around 18 to 20 Barrows runs per hour. 
Um, but this is where you are going to make most of your money. So this money making method is pretty reliant on this. So assuming you do get one every four hours, you should make around 10 mil per hour doing this method. So if you guys don't know how to do Barrows, I'm going to give you guys a brief run through of how it works. So as you can see, there is six different mounds and there is a shovel on each of them. You are going to want to click on that and you'll go into a crypt. In this room, you can search a sarcophagus where one of the Barrows brothers will emerge and you will need to kill them. Now, in one of these crypts, you will find a hidden tunnel. You're going to want to wait and save this for last. So you are going to want to kill all of the brothers before you go down in the tunnel. Now, just a quick tip, you can bring Barrow's amulets and you can use them on the sarcophagus to instantly skip that Barrow's brother. So that is a really useful thing to do as well as bring those. Um, and you can use three of them each run. So essentially you can just skip three of the Barrow's brothers every run and it will increase your runs per hour. Definitely recommended. It will boost your GP per hour um, overall. Now, if you do have around 110 or 120 combat level, you really shouldn't have any problem with the Barrows Brothers. They are pretty easy to kill. Just bring your best gear set up and you should be fine killing them. Um, so other than that, if you do have some protection prayers, they do have specific combat styles that would help if you are having a difficult time. But overall, they are pretty easy bosses. Now, when you do complete all of the Barrows Brothers, you will go into the final room, which is the tunnel. Um, now, the tunnel, you will find the last Barrows Brother. You are going to want to kill them. They could be in the room in the middle as well. Um, now, the thing with this, this is a bit of a puzzle. You can't open every door in this tunnel. So essentially, you will need to find which doors you can open and make it towards the middle where you can collect your loot. Now, once you make it to the middle room, you will get a puzzle pop up and you will need to select the right answer or else you will have to go through this puzzle again. Now, on screen now is a list of the solutions of each of the puzzles. It would be pretty useful just to memorize which one's which because the creatures in the room can attack you and it will cancel the puzzle. Um, then you'll need to click on it again. So if you can remember these and click on them pretty quickly, it will speed up your runs. Now, once you enter the middle room, you can collect your award by searching the chest. Um, you'll be getting lots of runes, and hopefully you get a unique drop. They do have all of the Barrow's armor, as well as the Amulet of Forsaken, so you're going to be going for those. Once you complete a run, you can teleport out. Um, you can teleport to the PVM hub or the Max Guild if you have that. Um, it would be really useful if you do attune a boss portal. You can do this at the PVM hub as well. Um, this will make your runs much quicker because then you can get here very, very fast. Now, moving on to our next method, we have ED3 Trash Mob Runs. This is a method I have mentioned in a previous guide, but we are going to be going over it again. So requirements, there are no requirements. You can make around 5 mil per hour. Recommended 75 plus combat stats. You can have just 75 magic would be good or 75 uh, plus melee stats. That works as well. Also, 43 prayer is going to be highly recommended for the protection prayers. You are going to want to protect melee for the most part throughout ED3. So um, definitely make sure you have that. And then also, if you do have Curse of the Blackstone quest completed, um, that will give you a 10% damage reduction. Overloads, curses, they're always really good. Um, just basically all of the high-level PVM stuff, that's really useful here as well and will speed up your runs. So first things first, you are going to want to select your gear setup. Uh, as you can see, I am using melee in this clip. However, you can use magic as well. You're going to want to do mostly AoE damage. So that is why I am going with melee. I can use abilities like Hurricane, Quake, Cleave, and Meteor Strike, which are all AoE abilities. Um, and this will allow me to go through the dungeon much quicker. Now, once you get here, you will want to select the normal mode. Make sure that your chest is automatically collecting the loot for you. Um, that way you will not have to worry about picking up the drops. Now, as I mentioned, you will want to protect melee. All of these creatures, are, for the most part, will deal melee damage. And if you don't have this on, you will take damage pretty rapidly. I definitely think it is better than Soul Split, um, so I would highly recommend using Protect Melee. As you can see, I am using AoE abilities for the most part, and I try and group them together. 
That way I can get through the dungeon much faster. So basically this is really simple. You would just want to kill all of the trash mobs before getting to the first boss. Then you'll teleport out. There is only one spot where you will want to skip the mobs and that is right here. So you don't have to kill those unspeakable horrors up there. You can skip those. Um, that way you won't have to deal with them. They do hit really hard and they are quite time consuming. So that is why you should just skip them. Um, it's just better that way. Um, so you're going to go ahead and continue killing the mobs until you get to the first boss. Once you get there, you will complete this and you'll want to teleport out and restart the dungeon. That, essentially, you're just doing that over and over, killing these trash mobs um, and resetting the dungeon. Along with the 5 mil GP per hour, you also get a ton of combat XP as well. You get around 1 million to 1.5 million combat XP per hour if you are doing this pretty efficiently. Now also since this is a money making guide where I am showing a lot of different methods, I'm not going to go too in depth into elite dungeon farming. However, I will link a guide in the description down below where I'll talk more about the gear setups and also the ability bars and stuff like that, which will definitely help you guys out with elite dungeon 3 trash mob farming. Now moving on to our last method, we have the Ophidian Incubation Scrolls. This is a really good money make method. Only one requirement, which is 63 summoning, so it's not too high. And you can make around 10 mil per hour doing this. This is a really, really great mid-level money maker. The only downside being you don't really get much XP per hour. So with this method, you are going to be casting the Ophidian Incubation Scrolls on regular eggs turning them into cockatrice eggs. You'll want to do this by buying the Spirit Cobra Pouch. You'll also want Ophidian Incubation Scrolls, as well as regular eggs, and the Spiritual Prayer Potions. These are cheaper than summoning potions, so you are going to want to use these instead. Um, and as you can see, I'm going to be setting up my presets here. This is going to be really important. So make sure your preset looks somewhat similar to mine. Have the Ophidian Incubation Scrolls as well as the Spiritual Prayer Potions and then fill the rest of your inventory with eggs. Um, make sure you do have it set up like this. Um, then you can quickly load the preset over and over. Another thing you're going to want to do is change the familiar interaction icon. You will want to change it to special attack. That way when you do hit the keybind, you'll be using the special attack using the Ophidian Incubation Scrolls. So as you can see, my keybind is set to B, so I'm just clicking B and then clicking on each egg and it turns it into a cockatrice egg. Now regular eggs sell for around 2k each and then the Ophidian Incubation Scrolls, they're selling for around 1700 at the time of making this clip. Um, and then the cockatrice eggs selling for a little bit over 8k each. So you can see you're making a little bit over 4, maybe even 4.5k profit per egg. And you can do around 2,000 to 2,300 of these eggs per hour, depending on how efficient you are with it. This method is fairly tedious because you will need to be clicking constantly. Um, as you can see, when you do even run out of your uh, summoning points, you will want to drink the spiritual prayer potion to regain some of those summoning points and just speed it up. Um, and then when you do finish an inventory, you will want to go into the bank and then just reload the preset and do it over and over again. So this is a really good money making method. It is very tedious, but you can make 10 mil per hour pretty easily from it. And it only does require 63 summoning. So this is an excellent money making method for those mid-level players just grinding for some extra cash. Also, I do want to mention that the cockatrice eggs, they are priced so high and they always maintain their value because they are used for summoning potions. Summoning potions are going through the roof right now. I think they're around 30k each. So the cockatrice eggs, they are going to maintain uh, being around 8k each for sure. Um, so this is always going to be a pretty profitable method. However, that being said, I would advise just checking that profit margin before doing it just in case. And so I just did a sample of 200 eggs. And as you can see, um, the 200 Ophidian Incubation Scrolls, they costed around 360k. The eggs costed 450k. That's a roughly 800k right there. And then another 200k for the Spiritual Prayer Potions. So that's 1 mil. 
and then we sold the cockatrice eggs for around 1.6 mil for 600k profit. We also did have a few spiritual prayer potions left over. Um, so overall, you can see that we made pretty good money in roughly five minutes of work. So anyway guys, that is it for all of the money methods in this guide. I really hope you found at least one or two of these really helpful. Um, I know some of them will be super helpful for those mid-level players just trying to make some extra money. Um, and if you guys did enjoy the video and found it helpful, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more RuneScape 3 content. I really hope you guys did enjoy the video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.